That's 23, Woods Fulton, but she was here two years ago. And here is her compatriots, Lauren Kiefer, riding vermiculous, fourth after the dressage, and if she can get it all together today, she's a player. But it's an if. It is an if. Um, she's, she's had a few mishaps over the years, um, uh, but this is a very capable horse. It's a fabulous little horse, um, and she's a very experienced rider. Um, now is her chance to put the foot down and make it happen. Another horse owned by... Jacqueline Mars. And away they go. So two key American players on the course at present. And here's Claire with a, a veteran uh, insightful there from, from Dan Jocelyn. As we have a look at Lauren Kiefer coming to Discovery Valley to watch her jump this. Fourth after the dressage, Lauren Kiefer. The horse is brilliant there. She popped the log quietly and, and then just pressed his accelerator and he just opened up quite beautifully over that brush fence. Now, this tricky brush arrowhead coming sharply off a corner. I have to say I'm quite surprised at how, how much trouble this fence has caused. I thought horses would lock onto it much better, but they have looked at the ditch a lot. This is a cracking yeah, jumping yeah, very strong field in here And she's a very, as I said, it's a very experienced two, rider. Uh, Notice the, the ones that have tackled it best have ridden quite deep, in, almost to the, deep to the crowd, and then yeah, have made a quite a pointed 90-degree angle. They've, they've got to get them straight and give the horse as much chance as possible to see what it is before they just accelerate around the corner and wing at it. Just picking up on that was lovely. Just picking up on Dan Jocelyn's interview with Claire there. Thinking about the amount of these safety devices that have gone today, the fences that have been knocked and damaged, and the pins, the frangible pins, have, have gone. The frangible devices. It may encourage you to put a. A trickier question like this officer we're seeing Lauren jumping at the top of a hill like that and um, you know without the frangible device you really wouldn't put an officer at the top of a hill but um, and some of the Maltings rails are very wide you know maybe that encourages you to be a little bit braver as a designer but, but um, there's nothing wrong with the questions but perhaps perhaps the frangible devices allow you to make these decisions so they may have subtly shifted some of these cross-country courses without us really realizing. I think that's very possible. Um, you know, as, as, a, as a designer as well, I, I would be reluctant to think that I'd been conned into that, but um, I think it is very possible. And you know, um, but you, you have to you have to be sure the question you're giving is correct, whether the frangible device is there or not. Because it it shifts your own perspective of, of what's an acceptable challenge and what's not an acceptable challenge, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah. And we all know what kind of question the horses find difficult, so if there's a chance of making that more difficult, we have to be very careful there for designers that we don't allow that to happen. I'm not saying that's what happened here, but it, it's something we can be thinking about. Now, big test here, Jules at the Maltings for Lauren Kiefer. The great jumps there, but um, he landed quite steep over that second one, and, and Lauren just pitched up his neck a little bit. I'm going to be a little bit bold here and suggest that Lauren's stirrups are too long, and if she was riding with shorter stirrups, her upper body would be more secure. That's very completed badminton this year. Here's Lauren Kiefer and Vermiculus. I was just thinking about your point about her stirrups, and it's quite noticeable even to a layman that she's riding with a longer length of, of a stirrup than, than most riders here. I was wondering, it, you, know, you, you look at a, a bowler in cricket with an unusual action or a biomechanically mm -hmm. suspect action, and they say they take them to the trainers and they try and correct it, and then their game goes to goes to pieces. If you if this is the way you, you've now become accustomed to riding, 
would it be would it be too big a change going like the wind now how's lauren Kiefer going because time's crucial here she was fourth after the dressage over the cotsmore leap obviously there'll have to be a significant bit of recalculation yeah that's nice yeah, you can hear the horse brushing through the brush fence but very good confident jumping finished 12th here two years ago her first visit to Burley on Veronica a lot of experience at the top level now he's a tiny little horse he's a, he's a big stature but he's not a big horse at all but he has got phenomenal scope and great attitude hence his stable name bug <laughs> I guess You could see Lauren looking left there. She realized the kind of jump she got. She wasn't going to get there turning left. So quick change of <laughs> The 21st equal coming into this phase. And Lauren Kiefer down to the concluding stages of this competition. Over the Collie Western Slate Mine and now down into the lake for the final time. Could do with a guide to the time here on Vermiculus. Yeah, look at his, look at his ears. It's still pricked. Still enjoying it. At, and having a look at the clock there, only one second. Oh no, she's already over the time. Yeah. Sorry, I was thinking that was a split time. And, um, she's already over the time. I was thinking through the water, he hasn't gone that quickly, but um, he certainly jumped for fun around this track. And albeit that time penalties are now racking up and racking up at a reasonable rate. A clear is still very important in the context of the way things have gone today. We've not got many left to compete. And at the moment, Piggy French on 26.9 has a clear break, but it's a massive break. To and was attainable, so, and was attainable, so um, let's see how he copes with this horse. He's had the benefit of experience of having been round the course. But a different horse can give you a totally different perspective. Now, Lauren Keeper's over a minute over the time. And that is going to cost her. She goes into seventh place, so it is highly feasible that she'll be in a top ten spot.